All right, folks, I have here my big blue uh, crystal glue cell. This is Epsom salt, salt, salt substitute and Elmer's glue. Um, I use a copper rod or a car yeah, copper tubing and I wrapped a bunch of magnesium ribbon around it. As you can see, it's hollow. Then uh, the blue comes from me spray painting with blue spray paint. So, I'll show you guys a little demonstration here. Uh, this set will be powering the Lucky Japanese Waving Cat. Uh, let's see if I can get a better view for you guys. This one is solar powered, but I have disconnected the solar powered cables right there you see where I cut them so the solar panel is not hooked up and you can get these things at Amazon this is the exact model I have so you want to look it up there's a price about eight dollars for it I got a couple of these these are pretty nice to have around simple pulse motors inside you can see it's counterbalance weighted pulse motor with a capacitor in there very simple design and we're going to have the big blue uh, glue crystal cell power in it so it should be a self starter to that pulse motor we'll hook it up and we'll let the capacitor fill up and she should take off and there she goes There, she's kicking in now. Takes a little bit for a kick in, but she's going good right now. Look at that. That's a pulse motor being driven by crystal cell. Now this crystal cell has been painted, so there's no water getting into the crystal cell. So this is a water-free crystal cell. Uh, the key to it, the power of a pulse motor, like that, is more metal more metal exposed to the crystal lattice the better off you are there she is waving away and of course the solar panel is not hooked up and she's just going away and this crystal cell is powering a pulse motor very interesting It's going very good too. Look at that. There's the connections. There you go, folks. It's a uh, crystal cell power and a pulse motor.